Hello everybody and welcome to episode 4 of Let's Play Game Dev Tycoon. Uh, we just sold Football Madness and gained a lot of money off that. We now have 2.4 million in the bank. Very, very, very nice. Uh, so yeah, it's time to research and make new games. I can't research a new game type. Uh, Bumhole. That's not good. That is not good. That's not good. That's not good. That means I have to repeat. One of my things already. Well, uh, let's let's do something slightly different. I done. Uh, let's check what I've done. Let's check what I've done because I need to do something different. No, not research. Uh, game history. There we go. Right. So. Uh, that. Wait. What was this? Where? Where? Medieval RPG. Surgery simulator. Alternate history action game. What? What, what was it for this? I want to see like what the stats were. Can I not like view game reports? Game his no. There's no way to do that. What? But why? Wait, wait. Let's develop a new game. I'll do all in the history and see what comes up. Hmm. So I don't action. Well, I'll do all in the history. Adventure game. I don't know. I don't know if that's gonna be good at all. I'll try it. See what see what happens. Uh, I'm, okay, I'm gonna switch to the PC now because that's got larger, like more bigger farm. I don't know. More market share. Right. What, what should we call this? Um, alternation. I can't think of anything else. Alter alternation. Okay. Next. Next. Okay. Wiener Creative, the Master V controller, has announced the Wiener Gear, a portable console to directly compete against the game link from Min Nintendo? Nintendo. 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 A spokesperson for the company said, unlike similar devices on the market, which don't come close to um, gaming consoles on... Wait, what? Which don't come close to gaming consoles, the Wiener Gear are basically full... Okay, I can't be- uh, my brain. I had a brain fart there. Let's just stop going. Let's do this. Will this device top all the game link? We will see. The Vina Gear will debut next- in two months. I I'm really bad at reading. Like, oh my god. Like, seriously, I never read any books. Right, story and quest has to be good. Gameplay decent, engine decent. Let's put it about that. See how that works. I love that. I love that little- That little popping sound. It's so- Nice, it's so tasty. Okay, level design pretty good. Dialogues, eh. AI, down a bit. Let's see if that goes well. Hopefully it will. Come on, I need a bit more tech. Tech's not doing so good at the moment. Uh, will design good, graphics good, sound down a bit. Uh, graphics down a bit, but will design has to be good. Okay, there we go, that should help. That should be pretty good. Come on, I need more, I need about 18. I need 18 or more design points. I'm never gonna hit 20 technology like this. Come on, just two more. Two more design. Two more design. Two more design. Two more design. I don't want tech, it's not really helping at the moment. One more design. One more design. One more design. Please. That's a bug. I didn't say bug. One more design. Please. It's not happening. Okay, finish. Let's click finish. Finish alternation. Right, 17 and 14, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, release game. See how this goes? Uh, no, I don't want to move up yet. Okay, so... Oh, that's not that good. All the bit. I think the last one I made said it was like something like 5.25 or something. So that's five and a half. If I can get like a six, basically, overall, that's still better. Like on the last... Um, alternate history game I made. Okay, so this should be better. I think this is better. So anyway, game report, I want to quickly... Game history, I want to quickly check that old one I made. It's called If They Won. Not there. It was back one. If They Won. 5.7, oh, so it's basically exactly the same. Uh, we got an alright amount of sales though. It's not that bad. It's keeping us up. Okay, so now we can research a new game type which I needed. 
We'll do Transport Simulator. I know I'm making a lot of simulators, but they actually seem to be very good. Very, like, helpful. People seem to like simulation games. Well, take a look at Game Surgeon Simulator. That's an amazing game. Loads of people love that. Really, when you think about it, it's pretty, it's a pretty ridiculous game. Uh, research. I want to research another mode just so if I forget, I'll be ready. Vampire. We can make like a vampire action game. For now, we're going to do one more simulator. Hardware manufacturers around the world were surprised as today. Um, was surprised today as Govador, the creator of the popular G64, has filed for bankruptcy. <gasps> Govador failed to introduce a higher priced alternative and was forced to shut down the production of the G64. The platform will retire from the market early next year. Okay. Poor guys. They're probably gutted. Like, hey, me! I'm just swinging my keyboard around right now. This is not good. Why am I doing this? I should probably stop. Okay, I'm gonna stop. It's really awkward the way I sit, because I've got no, like, chair. So I'm just pressuring myself between my bed and my bench. So, so I sort of stay here without moving. Um, G64 is no longer supported. You've released seven games on the platform and earned a total of 3.4 million. Damn! Ultra Nation is now off the market. It sold 201,000 units, generating 150k in sales. Nice. Right, so let's develop another game. Alright, I'm actually, you know what, I'm going to do vampire action game, so I can put it as a mature game, so I can see how that goes. Uh, I'd say more mature people are going to have a computer anyway. So what should we call this? Um, V-Day, let's call it V-Day. Don't know why, just thought that sounds pretty cool. I'm not very good at making names for games. Games for games that round. Uh, but yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll just call it that. Alright, so it's a vampire action game. I want Stone Quest to be about there. Gameplay has to be good. Engine pretty good. Probably like that. Pretty close, but there's a little bit more in some areas. Okay, okay, this seems to be going well so far. Uh, levels, I, I'm gonna move that down a little bit because as you can see, it says 2 here. Um, AI go up because it's an action game. There'll be a lot of other characters running around. Dialogue, stay about where you are. I just realised I haven't set a timer. So this means this video could be really long. Uh, I'm just going to quickly make one for like five minutes. I'll, I'll, I'll say like six minutes left or something. I don't know. I don't know how long we've got left. Oh, I'll just put it there. Uh, will design, that's actually got a negative. So I'm just going to put that quite low. Graphics, pretty good. Sound, pretty good. I'm, I'm going to have that. Uh, yeah, no, uh, more sounds because of like weapons. There we go. Hi, I'm Steve O'Connell, a reporter from Planet GG. We've heard a rumor that you and your company is developing a game for mature audiences. Would you be willing to give me an interview about this? Yeah, sure thing. Great, thank you for your time. We will publish the interview next week. That was a really quick interview. I just said yeah. Oh, oh, we could get records. Planet GG has recently published an interview with Momentum. According to their interview, the company is working on the first um, game targeted at mature players. Robert, owner of CEO, owner and CEO of Momentum, said, "We think that players are looking for more mature content in games, and we are willing to take a risk to give it to them." Okay. Many industries experts say that sooner or later. Games with mature themes will become more common. We are curious to see how the market will react to these games. <laughs> Very nice. Developing a game is not the only recipe for success. It is essential to build up hype to ensure that players get all excited about your game. The beginning of your career, hype is mostly generated through random events, but once you gain more experience, you can use marketing and other strategies to generate hype. I'm actually not stuttering for once, which is a surprise. I don't actually have a stutter, it's just I, I, I'm bad at reading. Oh my god, 17, come on. One more design, you've got to give us that. Ooh, proposition, decrypt code. Very special offer. I angel is recently managed to borrow some information which might be of interest to you. Okay, I'll do it. Uh, thank you for your business. You have successfully, successfully researched fashion. Fabulous! Okay, come on, come on. I don't need to tech. Yeah! New record! Let's do it. 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 I think it's a new record. 
Oh, it's not on you. Ah! Well, that's pew headish. Uh, my this game might do well because I'm getting to some new levels. Hopefully, and it's a new topic and a new combo, so it's good. Uh, better user experience, level of edit and open world. Okay, I'm gonna research a couple of these. Yeah, you know what? I'll do it. Let's go up. Let's go up. Oh, very nice. Very nice big office. Okay, so I can hire staff and stuff. I'm not going to do that yet, because they'll cost money. Uh, to get started, close this message and click. Okay, I know I can do that, but... Uh, you know what? I'm going to do this game report and finish, because I don't know how long this episode's been. It could be like five minutes, like ten minutes. It could be... I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah. I'll just quickly... Well, I might as well see the reviews first. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Sevens, they're alright. Right, so yes, okay, so thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Um, if you want to see more, please subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye!